So Squarespace or WordPress, which is the best platform to build a website in 2021? That's the question that we're gonna be answering today in this video. It's actually pretty common because these seem to be arguably the two most popular routes to building a website, but they are very, very different. And so what we're gonna do in this video is lay out five key categories, looking at the ease of use, looking at pricing, looking at customization, the time and effort, and then also customer service, and comparing each one of these, Squarespace versus WordPress, in each one of these five categories uh, to give you an overall answer on which is the best platform to build your website on in 2021. So without any further ado, let's get started with this video. Of course, if you want to learn more about this, you can check out some of these show notes in the description as well uh, and follow along for this video. So let's get started here. And let's first start with the primary category that I think a lot of people care about, which is the ease of use. So how difficult is it to use each one of these Squarespace versus WordPress? Now let's first look at Squarespace. How easy is Squarespace to use? Well, I'm sure you've seen ads for Squarespace. You'll know that it's actually very easy to use and we've built a number of sites using Squarespace. And I can tell you that overall, the customer experience, uh, not only just the design of going through the, the process of creating a website with Squarespace, it's fairly easy. I mean, it's, it's really as easy as it possibly could be. Um, and so uh, Squarespace, I would say, takes the cake or takes the trophy in the category of ease of use as compared to WordPress. Now, WordPress can be a lot more difficult for very much beginners. Uh, if you already find yourself not being tech savvy, uh, maybe you're not good with computers, then I think WordPress would be a little bit more difficult for you just based off of the amount of steps that you have to go through to actually launch your website and then problems that you might face uh, later on in the future as well. So uh, if we just look at Squarespace here, I mean, we can arguably, we could set up a website probably in 15 or, or 20 minutes uh, just through their website here. And I think actually we do have a discount code, I believe should be Santrell 10. I'll leave it down in the description if you are gonna sign up for Squarespace. But for the first category for ease of use, Squarespace definitely takes the cake on this because with WordPress, you have to not only find a place to buy your domain, but then you have to find a hosting service. You have to choose what's the best hosting service. And then you have to install WordPress and then you have to build out your WordPress website, decide which plugins are the best, decide which themes are the best, decide how you're going to secure your website. Uh, and like I said, there's just a lot more hoops that you have to jump through with WordPress. But now let's talk about the second category. Uh, and this is going to be pricing. So pricing uh, for this, it's, it's, it's very flexible and it's very customizable in terms of pricing. But let's first look at Squarespace and then we'll compare that to WordPress. So Squarespace pricing here, as we can see, uh, is actually, well, well, it's a little bit more expensive than what some people would like it to be. And this is sort of the trade-off that we have. Because it's easy to use, we see that Squarespace does sort of raise the prices a little bit compared to WordPress. So for a base level of $12 per month, we can have a Squarespace website and it goes all the way up to $40 per month. This could actually break the bank for some people. I mean, let's be honest, most of us don't have $40 a month to just throw onto a website. Uh, $12 is on the lower end and I think they might have a student discount as well. If you are a student, they might give you like half off. Don't quote me on that, uh, but I'll, I'll leave that down below if I find that um, in the description. Uh, in this video. But overall, Squarespace, yes, you're paying a little bit more for your website. Now let's look at WordPress pricing here. Um, we have a couple of different options for WordPress pricing because WordPress itself is actually free, but you need to host your website somewhere. So if you want to use WordPress, you need to host your website. Um, and so you can use a different hosting service for that. See how, how confusing WordPress can already be. Uh, if you know nothing about websites, it's already sounding confusing, right? Um, but you can make it a lot cheaper. So the, the uh, hosting service that we tend to recommend that we find to be one of the best is called SiteGround. And I believe you can start at uh, $6.99 per month for your WordPress website, hosting it through SiteGround. So yes, it's a lot cheaper for SiteGround with WordPress than it is with Squarespace. It's almost half the price for the first year uh, for that. So in terms of pricing, we are going to give the trophy to WordPress for this because it's just so much more flexible. I've seen hosting services like HostGator uh, where they charge only a couple of dollars, two or three dollars per month 
for your website, whereas Squarespace can be a little bit more expensive. But of course, you get that trade off with that, which it gets a lot more difficult with WordPress. Now, let's look at the third category, which is going to be pretty crucial, uh, and that is customization. How difficult is it to customize your website? Do you have a lot of options or do you have very few options? Now, the overall, I'm going to just jump ahead and tell you that the, the answer to this in terms of customization, who takes the trophy on this, we're going to give this one to WordPress as well. So WordPress has so many different customization features. And this is because it's open source, which means that uh, you have a number of different themes created by independent third parties. You have plugins created by independent third parties. So overall, uh, if we look at something like WordPress, we have hundreds of thousands of themes that you can choose from. So you can totally build your website exactly how you want to build it and have so many different options as compared to uh, Squarespace, which might only have about 100 or so site templates that you can choose from. So there is quite a drastic difference there. Uh, also looking at, at plugins. Squarespace has a little bit over 30 plugins that you can use uh, for their platform, whereas WordPress has tens of thousands, uh, I believe over 50,000 different plugins that you can choose from uh, to customize your website exactly how you want to make it. So going through these three categories so far, ease of use goes to Squarespace, pricing goes to WordPress, and customization goes to WordPress. Let's look at the final two categories here to help you make this decision as Squarespace or WordPress, which is best. The final two categories are the time and effort that it takes, and then also looking at customer service. So in terms of time and effort and overall maintenance, uh, which one is going to be easier? Uh, which one is going to take less time overall? Now, if we look at Squarespace, they have a lot of built-in features uh, that allow you to have more security very easily. Uh, they allow you to uh, automatically update your website. We have a lot of different features that are going to help us be a little bit more hands off with our website as compared to WordPress sites, which can not only be vulnerable to security attacks, it's one of the most vulnerable uh, things that we can have in cybersecurity is WordPress websites that aren't updated, which means that uh, with WordPress sites, you constantly have to go in and update because we have all these different plugins that might be outdated, they have vulnerabilities. Same thing goes for themes with WordPress websites. So overall, the winner for this in terms of the time and effort that it takes, it, in my opinion, we We've built both Squarespace and WordPress websites. In my opinion, it's going to take far less time and effort uh, and overall maintenance with Squarespace than it would with WordPress. Just because of the moving variables with WordPress, we have so many. And with Squarespace, they take care of a lot of this for us. We don't have to worry as much about security. You still want to be careful with that. Um, but there's just a lot fewer things that we have to worry about in terms of maintenance with our website. For example, if we built a Squarespace website and we built a WordPress website and we left both of them for, say, three years, we didn't touch them, the Squarespace site would probably still be OK it would probably still be functioning properly where the WordPress site, if we don't update it for three years, we might run into some serious problems with the plugins and the themes and just run into a lot of different issues with that. So let's look at the final category here. So far, looking at it, we have ease of use goes to Squarespace. We have pricing goes to WordPress. We have customization goes to WordPress. And then we also have time and effort goes to Squarespace. So we seem to be tied here. Uh, and let's look at the final one, which is customer service. Now, because WordPress is free, it's not actually a, a business, it's just open source. Um, customer service is a lot more difficult to come by when you are building a WordPress website. Um, and, and this can really be problematic, I think, for people who are first building in their websites. Uh, if we look at Squarespace, they have customer support, they have customer service. So when I've built Squarespace websites in the past, it's so nice to be able to have a problem and then be able to say, you know what, let me go ask the people at Squarespace. You can call them, you can message them, and get an answer from somebody on why you're having problems with your website. Whereas with WordPress sites, my goodness, I've, I've had problems in the past where there's a little bug or you have a problem within your site. You can't figure out why something's not working properly, and there's nobody to call. You have to message a developer from the plugin or from the theme that you're using, or maybe you have to talk to your hosting service like SiteGround. Um, but overall, the one that wins for this one for customer service and customer satisfaction is going to be 
Squarespace, uh, that definitely takes the cake for that. So overall, from these five categories, Squarespace does win three out of five of them, but that doesn't mean that Squarespace is going to be the best route for you. Overall, if, if you're still sort of on the fence about which one is going to be best for you, I would argue that uh, if you are looking for a very simple website, uh, you're looking for, maybe you, you say you're a photographer or you are a restaurant and you're just looking for a nice, simple website that you want to create yourself and just have it nice and easy and beautiful very quickly, Squarespace is probably your best route to take. Whereas if you are looking for that a little bit more customization features, maybe you're a little bit more tech savvy, you want to scale this website to have 50 million visitors per month, WordPress is probably going to be your route for that. So hopefully we're able to answer some of those questions that maybe you've had. Uh, and like I said, as well. I will leave a link to both Squarespace and the hosting service, which is SiteGround, that we suggest using for WordPress. Um, and you know, it, it is an affiliate link, which just helps support this channel. If you found some value in this, we'd really appreciate if you used those links. It would make our day and helps keep this content free. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you found some value and I'll see everybody in next week's video.